Now it's time for tables, ladders, and chairs in event. And action. Welcome, producers, to another episode of Universe Mode. Tonight we have Universe episode number 112, the tables, ladders, and chairs pay-per-view known as TLC SmackDown Live exclusive. Only SmackDown Live superstars are eligible to, to compete here tonight, and we're going to start the night off huge, everybody. We have Skull Crusher going one-on-one. -on -one against Dean Ambrose in a ladder match what? and that's going to be for the best in the world championship now we all know how this match all came about everybody okay um, FRJ fought Dean Ambrose on an episode of Smackdown Live and the only way Dean Ambrose was going to accept the challenge is if the title was on the line and he foolishly put up the title for grabs in which Dean Ambrose came out victorious and that's why Dean Ambrose is here why Skull Crusher is here is a com well, not a completely different reason, but uh, it, it's actually a relatively different easy, uh, reason, though, because he fought in a 22-man tournament, which ended up with him winning and becoming the number one contender. He's gone up against some of the best superstars that Raw has to offer, and, you know, he's here tonight. He's looking to win his very first world championship, so good luck to Skull Crusher and Dean Ambrose. It's going to be a good match. All you have to do is climb the ladder, retrieve the championship, and you're declared the winner. <clears throat> What up, Alex and Brandon Johnson, though? Glad you guys can make it. You're just in time, Alex. I wanted to start your match out first because uh, I knew you said you were going to have, I think, school uh, tomorrow. So I just wanted to give you a little um, a little match to, to see before you go to sleep, at least. I don't even know if you're going to be able to watch it, but eh. Good luck, anyway. If you can, here it is. And what's up, Brutus? Man, Brutus is here. We got... Brutus in action kind of twice tonight. Defend the tag titles and the WWE Championship. Here we go. Good luck again. Well, there goes Skull Crusher, everybody. He's in the ring. He's ready to add someone to that kill list. Or, I should say, cross someone off the kill list. Well, guys, let's see if we get the introductions done. If we don't, then I guess I'll just kind of or announce them myself. Um... I guess. Oh yeah. Okay. Looks like she's gonna introduce. And there you go, guys. The best world championship being displayed over your screen, whether it's mobile or television. It is up for grabs right now. Here we go. Oh, okay. Well, I guess there is no introduction. This is. I guess. I don't know if it's a glitch or whatever. But anyway, you have a Cincinnati, Ohio relative, Dean Ambrose, the best world champion, going up against. Well, the guy who's. On from the other side of darkness, Skull Crusher, he's coming in here tonight. He's the cruiserweight champion, looking to win his first major world championship here tonight. And uh, he's had a pretty productive year. This is it's pretty interesting, guys, because you know, you know, starting off in this universe year's January, he won the Royal Rumble. He main and better WrestleMania, fought for the Universal Championship, however, fell short. Um, but you know, looking aside from that, he's. Um, he's fought and won many other titles, though he's held the Intercontinental Championship on a couple of separate occasions, and, um, he's right now the Cruiserweight Champion, nonetheless, and, you know, right now here tonight, he can end off the year and make it a great year by winning his first major world championship and he can have one of the greatest years that I've ever seen in any rookie that he can ever conduct throughout a career. So let's see. Evan Stokes says, Brandon Johnson always loses title opportunities and then asks for another sh shot after another shot. It's time to stop, Brandon. Will you shut up, Brutus? Damn. Well, uh, Brandon Johnson, um, I will say this, though, because, you know, Evan, you know, the way we look at it, it's like this. I, I'm going to have to agree with um, 
I'm gonna agree with Brutus, aka Evan, whatever he wants to go by. You know, I'm, I'm gonna just, I'll just say Evan though, since I just literally read the comment right now. I apologize if, um, if I offended you, but uh, I gotta agree with Evan to some sort because Brandon, you, you know, when you first got started, you wanted opportunities, and that's kind of what cost you to a, a contract termination in which you became a free agent. You got a second chance because you had a fire and a passion, not to just be a champion, but because you wanted to, you know, you wanted to compete. And so, you know, I was like, okay, I'm willing to give you an opportunity. And you've, you know, you've been able to do that and some. But then once you got a taste of holding the, the Raw Tag Team Championships, then you were like, okay, um, you know, okay. That's good, you know, he, he earned it, it's well deserved, but then, you know, you started wanting, you started getting a little greedy, and, you know, now you can't really compete for um, the Raw Championship anymore due to the fact that you lost, and you kind of, you did kind of big again, but I will tell you this though, Brandon, um, as far as you fighting for the Universal Championship, you haven't necessarily done anything that, in my eyes at least, to where I'm like, okay, I think he deserves a shot at it. You haven't done, you, you can't compete for the Raw Championship anymore until, well, actually, I think you can. Now you can, but, you know, again, you still haven't done anything that's, in my eyes, impressive enough to say, okay, I think this guy could be the World Champion. As far as uh, the best World Championship goes, um, you were part of a tournament with 21 other superstars, and you failed to win it. You, you failed to win. That's all there is to it. You failed to win, and... That's why Skull is here tonight. He's the pedigree pile driver on Dean Ambrose. And right now, guys, he can become the next best of world champion. All he has to do is climb that ladder and retrieve the championship. And he'll be the winner. He's got the title well within hand. That could do it right there. He And Dean Ambrose is down. Dean Ambrose is down. He is struggling to get back up to his feet. He might have to use the ropes. Is he going to get to there? No, he's not. He's going to get up slowly but surely now. And, and Skull Crusher might be done now. And oh, never mind. Here comes Dean Ambrose getting back on the top of the ladder, looking to get Skull Crusher down. Well, FRJ, no matter what, whether I earned it or not, one of these, one of these men are facing me or is facing me at WrestleMania for the title. Well, it's uh, it's not guaranteed. It's you know, I don't give out opportunities like that. Well, sometimes depending on how well you do, but. Again, as far as your con as far as I'm concerned, as far as your concern is, uh, again, you haven't done anything towards like okay, you know, you deserve an opportunity. You could probably end up getting an opportunity in the future, but as of right now, it's it's not going to happen. However, what I can say is this, though, Brandon. Um, I will be giving you. Oh, hold on, guys. There it is. Dean Ambrose retains the best in the world championship. In this ladder match, damn, dude, that, that's, I don't know, okay, I <laughs> just wanted to know, man, damn, man, that was a close match, too, it's alright, Skull Crusher, alright, oh, alright, congratulations, Dean Ambrose, on retaining the title, Okay, so congratulations, Dean. Again, a tough break for Skull Crusher, man. I, I feel sorry for him because, you know, he's had a great year. And he just, oh, my God, he fell short. That's all there is to say about it. He was this close to becoming the best in world champion, but again, he just fell short. Um, okay, so Brennan Johnson, what I can say is this, though. Okay, there's what's going to happen. What's after this? We're going to have money that we after this. But uh, as I was saying, Brandon, um, you know, again, seeing how, you know, you want an opportunity to become the best world champion, the universal champion, the raw champion, week in and week out. And I've already given you the reasons, man. So far, you haven't done anything. Um, you haven't done anything in my eyes where it's like, okay, you look, I, th I think you worked hard enough. I think you deserve a shot. You haven't done anything like that just yet. Not yet. But, Brandon, what you have done, what you have done, Brandon, is you beat Quest in a singles match on Raw, and 
You know, I've been looking for number one contenders for, you know, for a big Raw that's to come before the Rumble because, you know, not every Raw championship is going to be on the line. So we're going to have to, we're going to put a lot of titles on the line before the Royal Rumble, okay? And so I think I already know who's my number, my next number one contender for the Intercontinental Championship is. I think that's going to be you. And you're going to get a shot. It's going to be sometime later this month when we have a big Raw before the Rumble. Okay, it might be the, a week before the Rumble. It might, I mean, not, not a week before the Rumble, but it might be the Raw before Rumble, the, the, two, the two Raws before Rumble, for all I know. You're going to get your opportunity to win the Intercontinental Championship. But, you know, again, that's all. Of, that's, that's pretty much what you've done so far. Uh, as far as you wanting a world title shot or being in the main event picture for Raw uh, exclusive pay-per-views and, and things of that nature, it's, it's not happening so far. You haven't. Um, you haven't earned it. Let's just say that you haven't earned it yet. You do. You will get opportunities in the future, but you know, at the end of the day, it's it's not there yet, man. You just gotta wait in line. You gotta wait your turn, and you gotta keep working hard. And again, you know, you, you're the Raw Tag Team Champion. And uh, the next time, okay, your, your tag titles aren't gonna be on the line in January. Okay. The the Raw. Well, here's the thing. J. King. Well, here's the thing, Victor. Um, yeah, you're going to get a match on Raw. Uh, but here's the thing, though, Victor. Uh, Brandon Johnson, uh, him and Jason Bryant, they earned an opportunity to fight for the Raw Tag Team Championships. I'll give them that. Um, as far as, like, the Raw Championship, Best in World, and the Universal... You know, he he did he did kind of earned an opportunity to fight for the Raw Championship, but if he lost, he can't fight for the title again. As far as the Universal Championship goes, he hasn't earned an opportunity to fight for that. And the Best World Championship, he's not even running through my mind right now to fight for that title. But who is going to be next in line to fight Dean Ambrose for the Best World Championship at the Royal Rumble? That's going to be you, Victor. You beat Caden, who was the number two contender, and you're next in line. But, uh, since everybody wants to see a six-man elimination chamber, you're going to be in it, Caden's going to be in it, and then I'm not sure who's going to be the next guy in it. Uh, but so far for SmackDown, we're going to have Dean Ambrose for sure. Um, again, I'm not sure who else is going to be in it, but you know, I'm going to get it together. But Victor, if you don't want to be in the elimination chamber, uh, let me know right now, because... Um, I'm just letting you know right now, guys. Because you know, Victor, he, he should know the rules by now. But you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give him a fair chance. Um, you know, here's, here's how, it was, here's how it goes, okay? If you're the WWE champion, the Universal champion, the Best of World champion, Raw champion, SmackDown Live champion, if you're any of those champions, at the, from here on to going into the Rumble, you cannot compete uh, in the Royal Rumble itself. If you fight for the title, you're not going to be in the Rumble. So, Victor, you can decide whether you want to uh, fight for the Best World Championship. Okay, you do? All right, that's good. All right, just wanted to know. And um, and if you didn't, then you will be into the Rumble. But since you're going to fight for the Best World Championship, you're not going to be in the Rumble now. Just, you know, glad we got that uh, out of the way. And, uh, yeah, man, you earned it. You, you beat Caden on the last episode of Raw Fair and Square. You're getting your opportunity. Uh, you're going to be in the chamber, man. Good luck. To you and Caden, and I gotta find one more guy to represent for Raw. Uh, you decided on your decision, okay? Set up a spot for the chamber for me. I'll save my rumble spot for next year. Okay. Well. Hmm. All right. I'll tell you what. Brandon Johnson wants to fight for the best world championship. And Skull Crusher wants to fight for the best world championship. Um, here's how it goes, guys. Um, you know, not a lot of guys want to fight in this chamber match because they know, uh, or because they like the Rumble better. But you know, Skull Crusher, you you said you wanted to, but then you didn't. And then Brandon Johnson wants to know. So I'll tell you what. Here's what's gonna happen, guys. We're gonna have a one-on-one -on -one match. At Monday Night Raw, the next episode, the, the next episode after this stream on Raw, we're gonna have Brandon Johnson one on one against Skull Crusher, and the winner of that match will go to the chamber and fight for the best in the world championship.
Unless Alex, you're saying no thanks, but is that saying like, did you say that to Brandon, or do you want to get out of the chamber now? Because if you do, if you do want in the chamber, let me know, and that match will stay official. But you know, you just gotta let me know, man, because I didn't get to see the other comments ahead of you. Sorry about that. I can't put you in the chamber anyway because I already have Caden and Victor. I only got one more spot for Raw, and that's gonna be either. Well, it's either going to be you or Skull Crusher. Unless Skull Crusher doesn't want it, then I, you know, then I guess we can kind of uh, find some other people who haven't held a world championship yet, and then kind of take it from there. And then you know we can find the contender. What up, Jose? Welcome back, man. Oh, look at this. Dylan setting up J King. He's got him up, and down he goes. Bam! It's over. <laughs> no, it's not. Uh, that jackhammer was pretty. I want to make sure Brandon is out of that chamber. All right. It's official now, guys. On the next episode of Raw, which is coming up after the stream, Skull Crusher, one-on-one -on -one with Brandon Johnson. And the winner of that match will go to the Rumble and compete in the Elimination Chamber Best in the World Championship match. Where he can win his first world championship because both guys haven't held the world title yet. So there you go. Alright, so good luck to both of you guys. Um, yeah. But anyway, yeah, Brandon Johnson, anyway, that, what, I, what I did say though, again, you know, I've been looking for contenders to start for the month of January because, again, um, you know, not every championship, only, only two raw titles are going to be on the line at the Rumble. And so we got, we're going to put the rest on the line on an episode of Raw. Just because, you know, Raw's pretty good. we got to hype it up and get people ready and excited for the Rumble. So that's how we're going to do there. Yes, I'm so excited. And there is nothing Brandon can say to end my excitement. There you go. Uh, when is your match? Your semi-main event. This is match number two. His first mistake was signing to the same brand with you, Brandon. Yeah, that might be true. Well, if Skull Crusher accepts your challenge, then I mean, hey, if you guys want a stipulation, you can have a stipulation. If you want a normal match, it's gonna be a normal match. It, it just, you name it, you're, you'll get it. I mean, I don't care. You know, I want to see two people beat the living crap out of each other. And again, you know, it's up to you guys. If you don't want to, like. If you guys can agree on something, here's how it's going to go. If you guys agree on one particular matchup, we'll have that matchup. But if you guys can't decide what kind of match you're going to have, it's going to be a normal matchup. RKO to Dylan. Is it over to... No. FRJ Skull Crusher needed to remember he is not the only one trying to win gold at the Rumble. That is true. You know, we got a, we got a couple of big title matches at the Rumble to take place. Um... When is Rumble? Oh, God. Uh, you know, I don't know yet, uh, bro, to be honest with you. Um, let me see. We got... We're doing this show right now, so let me see. In the month of January, we got 3, 6, 7, 13. We got... Oh, man, we got 16 shows to do. But we're going to be... I'm going to be doing two, so we're going to have 14 left to do. And then, um, you know, I can... It, it could end up being on a Wednesday or Thursday, or I might even just wait on a Saturday and go... I don't know. I'll, I'll, I'll let you guys know about that pretty soon. Because, you know, I don't even know when the Rumble's yet. We got a we got a, a bunch of big shows to take care of first before we even get over there. Okay. Um, if there's anyone on Raw that wants to fight against Victor in a triple threat match, be my guest. Um, other than that, if no one steps up to the plate, I will find two competitors for him to go up against. Look at that right there, guys. This is a good match. Uh, you missed the first match. It was Skull Crusher and Dean Ambrose for the best world championship. Dean Am or not Dean Ambrose. Skull Crusher fell short, but yeah, Dean Ambrose ended up ultimately winning. Um, you know, it was a, it was a good match though. It was a eh, back and forth a little bit, but uh, I don't know. You know, it, I, 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 I thought you know uh, Skull Crush was gonna win, but Dean Ambrose had a critical counter that just ended the match, man. It, I was a little, I was disappointed. I'm not gonna lie, man. I'm not gonna lie. 
Uh, let's see. You almost fell asleep, but you were asleep, boy. That doesn't make sense. Saturday is better because people are not working. Yeah. And plus, I thought it was already uh, summer vacation for everybody, but uh, it's not yet. So, it's, uh, you know, I'm trying to push for Saturday. So, if it's not this Saturday, it might be next Saturday. I'm not sure yet, but again, I will let everybody know the details. And I'm going to work a schedule that is going to best fit to get it on a Saturday. And then we'll take it from there. Uh, let me see. Yeah, let me look at the comment section again. Let's see. Because I missed a couple. Uh, let's see. Bottle boy, calm down. <laughs> I fight better in a last match standing match. What did I miss? FJ Skull Crusher? Okay, I read that. I don't know when that is. Uh, no, it's not official, Brandon. And nothing's official yet. Also, Brandon wants to fight a cruiserweight in a match with KO and weapons. He's taking the easy way out. Well, fine. I'll fight you in a real match. Brandon, Alex just said no. One, two, three. There you go. J King with the victory. I almost fell asleep. I was asleep and woke up and saw you were streaming. <laughs> well, okay. Uh, good stuff, man. Because, again, you got a big match here tonight. Uh, you're going to be fighting in a no-holds-barred match because that's the closest we're going to get to a chairs match. You want it to be a tables match? Well, okay, let me see. What match did I miss? I already told you that. You almost fell asleep, but you were asleep. That doesn't make sense. Set, okay, I read that one. Well, fine, it's going to be a tables match. I guess no answer is tough enough. I think I'm going to... I'm fine with fighting in two matches. Um... Alright, so I guess you guys want... Uh, I'm caught up on the comments section now. <laughs> so you guys want a tables match? Because it looks like... Ale okay. We're going to have a tables match at uh, the first... Or the, the Raw after TLC, or actually the next... Uh, the next stream, which is going to be Raw, episode number 113. <sighs> it's going to be some good stuff, man. Going to be some good stuff, yeah. Face the facts. Face the facts that are coming away. Are coming... Uh, sooner rather rather than later. I don't know why I stumbled on so many words right now, but yeah. All right, guys. Coming up next, we have a SmackDown Live Tag Team Championship opportunity for the Gates Club. Andy and Alex Gates. If if they fail to capture the titles, then they can never compete for the titles again until okay, until the two man power trip, aka Brutus and FRJ, lose the tag titles. This is a uh, elimination tag match, so you gotta beat not one but two. Both members on the same team in order to pick up the victory. Uh, well, uh, thank you very much, Victor. I appreciate the fact, but uh, you know, I don't, I don't think, I don't think I'm, uh, I don't think I'm the king. But, <laughs> but I appreciate that. You know, I got a, 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 you know, some positive feedback that people uh, think I'm good for this. So you know, it's, I, I feel pretty good when people, you know, they say, oh yeah, you know, he's the greatest, yay. <laughs> It's, I, th I think it's like it's pretty cool but yeah man thank you for the comment man appreciate it Alex is so excited I'm excited man and what up Bruce I'm excited uh, Bruce if you missed it Skull Crusher and Brandon Johnson are going to be squaring off on the next episode of Raw which is going to be after uh, this stream and uh, it's going to be a tables match the winner advances to the Royal Rumble to compete in the uh, Elimination Chamber match where that chamber is going to be Having the best world championship on the line. It's 1 a.m. for you. Good God. I'm sorry I put your match kind of up there, but uh, you know it's um, you know the United States Championship. In my opinion, it's a prestigious title, and I it, I kind of figure you know we should probably put it high on the card because not a lot of mid carders are not the United States Championship usually doesn't go that high up on the card, and you know for it to be kind of up there makes it mean something again. And plus, you know the world championship, it's. We got we got we got three of them on SmackDown now, and it's you know, uh, you know you're not really missing anything. You got three world championships, you know, so it's it's all good. <sighs> Let's see, it's also 1 a.m. for you guys. Oh damn! Well for me it's 10:03, uh, oh, so let me see. One, oh damn! You guys are on the East Coast, East East Coast. You uploaded the movie already? God damn, dude! You just said you were making the movie, and now it's already done. Holy smokes! All right, so um, I apologize for the uh, the match to be taking. Uh, it's a little bit, eh, it's a little lengthy to load up, but you know it's gonna be a pretty damn good one in my opinion. Uh, hopefully it does. Um, 
hopefully it does pretty good because you know this is a team these are teams that are meant to just leave it all out there and be you know just be the very best they can be there we go guys that's finally loaded <clears throat> Michigander for life All right, well, I'll have to watch that uh, a little later. Here we go. This is the opportunity of a lifetime. Let's see if our challenger can capitalize. And he's big. Yeah, it's for one of you guys. Absolutely. All right. All right, here we go. Yeah, for school. Oh, forget that. There you guys go. The SmackDown Live Tag Team Champions, the two-man power trip, Brutus, one half of the SmackDown Live Tag Team Champions, and the WWE Champion, teaming up with the former seven-time world champion and one half of the SmackDown Live Tag Team Champions, FRJ. They're scheduled to, well, they're scheduled for a big match right now. It's going to be good. Uh, let's see, Bruce Brandon to be very, Bruce Brandon to be very excited to get splinters into his back. Oh, uh, yep, that is, you are correct, Bruce. Uh, well, you're not correct, but you did win your championship back. Congratulations. Um, it was a good match. There you go, the Gates Club, they're ready to go. Andy on your left, Alex on your right. Oh, I'll go over that in a minute. There you go, everybody. There's the tag team champions of SmackDown Live. They're ready to defend their titles in a huge match right now. And there you go. Go ahead and hand those off to the referee so he can introduce those and raise it over his head so the universe in attendance and the producers watching in the stream know what's on the line. Here we go, everybody. The Gates Club going up against the two-man power trip. So, Evan, or Brutus, uh, your WWE Championship match is in the main event. You're going to be competing in the only TLC match. That's right. Tables, ladders, and chairs match. And your match is going to be up against Tyler Hilton, who's, who's done really good so far, man. He's had a big winning streak in his favor. Hell, his most recent win was against Colonel on uh, not the last episode of SmackDown, but two SmackDown episodes ago. The only one that will get splintered is you. When your parents knock your awake, you're awake, they will give you the belt. Damn. <laughs> nah, I don't get splintered that easily. I've been there. Oh, I've been here. The longest person to know FRG channel in the chat. Um... That you know, honestly, I don't know. I don't keep track of everyone's, uh, you know, um, attendance. No, uh, okay, the, the attendance, yeah, but as far as um, fanship or viewership, as long as they've been here, it's, that's kind of hard to determine. But uh, you know, I, I know that you know Victor is definitely one of the originals, pranksters as well. And then uh, eventually we had gotten. Well, honestly, it's kind of hard to remember when Roblox came in because that's what Alex used to go by. I mean, Alex Universe. So it's kind of like, um, yeah, it's kind of hard to decipher a little bit. <laughs> anyway, guys, uh, Evan's, mm -hmm. yeah, Evan's been here a while too. Uh, he's been he's been really good, man. He, he's been you know he's he's been a long fan, especially back in ECW days, where he's he ran that damn show, man. That was his show until. Bruce came in and fired him. I don't know if, you know, they're, I think they're cool now, but yeah, you know, that was just one of the dumbest things ever. Oh, look at that inverted Hurricanrana coming from FRJ, everybody. You know what? 
I probably had to check again, man. That's that's kind of a long time to go by. Because when I first started, I had um, I had Minecraft. That that really put me on the map first. That not really put me on the map, but it got it gave me started. Got me started. And then eventually, uh, then eventually it was WWE that really skyrocketed my. Um, well, I, I don't know if you call it success, but it's it skyrocketed my, uh, you know, the the producer count. But yeah, you know, we had a lot of good originals here. We had, uh, you know, Onyx and K. Well, KY is still around. He just doesn't come as often. Uh, you know, everybody gets busy with new stuff nowadays. But yeah, you know, we still have the originals. They come around every now and then. Dave Doss, yeah, he hasn't been here for a while. Yeah, there's so many more. And then there's the originals we still got here. We got Victor and Prankster that still come by around a lot. And yeah, yeah. But anyway, guys, again, this is an elimination tag team match. You got to beat both competitors. They both had to tap out, or both had to be pinned, or both had to do one or another. It doesn't matter. Uh, yeah, I don't understand what happened there. That was uh interesting. <sighs> Never knew what happened to him ever since. But you know, it's, uh, it's all right. Everybody, because you're an idiot. Then again, I'm not talking to someone who's. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah, Tiger man. Tiger was good too. That was um. Damn, I forgot. Was it? Yeah, he had Menace of the K. Tiger had Menace of the K. He was good. And then uh, Trajan, Tra yeah, Trey Juan, Trajan. He had uh, a good superstar too. I forgot his name though. Was it, it wasn't the Nightmare? I forgot what it, who it was. But um, you know that was a good one. We had a we had a bunch of people that used to come all the time and then moved on. But you know it's it's all good because you know every time we oh what the hell? Uh oh. From okay from the nostalgia getting to me, I failed to recognize what just happened. Everybody. Brutus got counted out, and now FRJ is by himself going up against the Gates Club. Andy making quick work of FRJ, and yeah, it, it, oh man, it, the, the the two man power trip are in trouble. Two kick out from FRJ, looking to keep the championship match alive. I don't know what happened, because you know, uh, you, well, you had the bumping and the bumping going on, but next thing you know, there's a count out. I don't know what happened to Steve, but we are no okay. Not let me see. Is it Steve? Yeah, Steve. Oh my God! I don't know what happened to Steve though. I, I asked Crazy Jay a couple times, and he was like, "Oh yeah, I don't know." I, I contacted him all these times, and he never responded back. So I, I don't know. Good God, guys! Neck breaker off the knee, and Andy Gates looking to call it a day here, looking to win the SmackDown Tag Titles for the second time in their career. Welcome, Medea. Look at this. Here we go. And the package power driver is all good, man. I ain't worried about it. Ah, uh, yeah. Sorry, man. Luck is for losers. I don't need that crap. One, two, kick out. See, told you I don't need no luck. Yeah, I remember the first Noah that came around with uh, for Mark. I wish he would still come sometimes, but yeah, he didn't really care though, cause he was like, oh yeah, forget this place, man. This place sucks. I'm gonna just make fun of that guy right there, which was pretty funny. You know. Oh my God, Andy, or, is that Andy still? Yeah, that's Andy still. He gets hit with a jawbreaker though, and now, ooh, Ric Flair like chop. Oh yeah, he did actually. And look at that back suplex. Woo, baby. Hey, ready? How about a standing shooting star press? Able to hit it with excellence. This is a pretty good match so far. It could have been. It could have gone a little bit better. But look at this face crusher. What up, Noah? <laughs> not. Well, we're not talking about you. We're talking about the other one. <laughs> and look at that. Oh my God, Lariat cleaned his clock for the win. New tag champions on SmackDown. Is it over? No, only two kick out. Yeah, we have a rematch clause. Ooh, quick strike to the skull with the knee. Oh my God. That one is crucial right there. Um. Oh, I'm sorry to say, guys, but that was pretty damn captivating right there. He straight up kicked him in the nose. <laughs> oh, look at this. Here comes FRJ. He's pissed, but he just got nailed with the belly to belly. And now Andy. Oh, no, this is Alex now. Excuse me. 
He's looking to end it right here, everybody. Single arm underhooked brain buster. And that could do it right. Oh, he's not going for the end. Instead, he gets caught with, gets caught with the European uppercut FRG now. Look at this. He's got him hooked. Up and down he goes. The DNA of pedigrees. That could be it right there. To get the first elimination in this match. Is it going to do it? Is it over? Two. Oh, and a kick out from Alex. Look at that, though. FRJ fired up. He knows what's coming. He knows it's time. Here comes a forearm, followed by another. Top it off with a sling blade. And the comeback attempt is still underway, looking to get an elimination here. What's he going for now? Oh, don't tell me he's going for a damn, a damn uh, brain buster off the turnbuckle. Those are devastating. Oh, got caught. And a super, oh, he missed the super kick. Oh, <laughs> thank the Lord Jesus. How about a dragon suplex? Oh, he didn't go for the pinfall, though. That's like one of my favorite maneuvers, and I'm I don't know why he didn't go for the pinfall attempt. Here we go, guys. I remember James Bunny. He's Jeff Danger now on the streams on SmackDown Live, by the way. Here we come. Oh, what the hell? Alex countered it. That's not good at all. Look at this. Up and down he goes. That could be it. Is it over? New tag champions two, only two. FRJ still able to keep kick out and keep the match alive. Look at Alex, man. He's fired up. He knows that this match is in the palm of the Gates Club's hands. They got it. They know this is. It could be coming to an end at any moment in time. And right now, he's looking for the end. He's setting him up. He's calling for it. Here we go. Super kick. He got it that time. That should do it. We're going to have new tech champions on SmackDown, guys. Two. And no. FRJ kicks out again. He doesn't want to lose the titles that easily. And I think I see Andy in the corner of the, of the ring. And he doesn't like what he's seen so far. He's a little upset. He has the right to because, I mean, hell. If it's two on one, this match should have been over a long time ago. I don't know what FRG is going for here, but if he hits it, this we might get this elimination. Oh my God! Yeah, this stream is going is definitely going down memory lane. You know, I haven't seen Chris from Miguel in a while, man. Or you know what? No, okay, yeah, no, I haven't seen in a while, but I did see Christopher Kirby like about. A month ago, and you know we I added them on Instagram, but yeah, ever since then, small package for the win, elimination. Oh, and a kickoff from Alex. God, man, that would have been an amazing way to get an elimination right there, and to get it down to a one-on-one. -on -one. But yeah, I seen Kirby, and uh, he's on Instagram now. He doesn't really come to the streams that much no more. But yeah, and and Miguel as well. Look at this, DDT. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. FRJ, man, he's struggling. He's running on fumes right about now, which is bad. Springboard senton. Good God. Since February, so February, May, January, February, March, April, May, June. Yeah, four months now. That's pretty good. FRJ, here we go. He's calling for it. The DNA of pedigrees. That could do it right there for the first elimination. One, two, is it enough? Oh, and Andy able to break it up. What the hell? All right, see you, see you next time, uh, Alex. You'll be able to see the stream when you wake up or go home later on tomorrow. But yeah, man, uh, good night and have a good one. Here comes Alex with his comeback attempt. He hits the sling blade. I think that's just insult to injury right there. He has FRG up to his feet. And now he's looking for the beginning of the end. Single arm unhooked. Brain buster. And that could be the end of this. Oh, wait a minute. Here comes FRG with a jawbreaker looking to keep it alive. And instead gets hit with a lariat. Oh, my God. Just when you think... A comeback attempt is well within way. It's it's not. Oh, here we go. I spoke too soon. Herbert Karana going for the quick pinfall win. Elimination two and a kick out. Alex able to stay alive. And FRJ, man, he's trying to figure out a way to get Alex out the way and, and get his sights on, uh, on Andy. And uh-oh. What's this? Suplex. 
And here comes Andy, or excuse me, here comes Alex. He's setting him up. He's calling for it. And super kick. That's it. It's over. For the win, new tag team champions on SmackDown Live, it's over. The Gates Club are victorious, and they are the new tag team champions representing the blue brand of SmackDown Live. Yeah, I remember Victor, man. He he got heat right when he came into, you know, debuting on FRJ Productions. And down the line, he earned the love of the production crew, or the producers, I should say. Yeah, we got dominated pretty badly. But I don't think that's the end of us just yet, man. We got one more shot for redemption. Right there, guys. That was the second super kick, and it was enough to put this match away. It was a you had a a, a luchador, a Mexican wrestler. He had a mask. Uh, was it a white mask? I forgot. But yeah, it's been a while. Congratulations, Gates Club, on the hard-fought victory. You you earned it, man. There's nothing to say. You earned it. Period. Coming up next, the SmackDown Championships on the line as Dynamic Smith gets his opportunity against, speaking of, Christopher Miguel. Christopher Michael, that match is up next. And it's a tables match, so Dynamic Smith and Christopher Michael, they don't have to pin each other. They don't have to make each other submit. The only way to win this match is if you... Put your opponent through a table and you're going to be champion. It's that simple. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's pretty good. Alright, Brutus, see you out for the night and um, good luck on your match. Hopefully you see it tomorrow because uh, it, it, I don't know, man. It, that's going to be a good match. Well, I don't know if it's gonna be a good match. Yeah, don't let don't let the team down, man. Or oh no, you. <laughs> I thought you were talking about. I was talking about for your championship match. I was gonna say I was trying to say retain the title, but you know. Yeah, you know we got the rematch coming, and we'll take care of that from there. Smith is a good fighter, but he is. Too, yeah, you know, I'll go over that in a minute. But I, I agree on some parts of that statement, though. Uh, you asked me a question, but I don't know what your question was before that second question that you just asked right now uh, let me see I'm gonna look at it right now though so that I can review it and then try uh, yeah kind of try to answer it if you will All right, let's see let's start this while I go look for your hmm He didn't ask me anything, so I don't know what you mean by that, Krishan Jones. That's a lot of names. Oh, <laughs> you meant literally that, okay, well, yes, I am FRJ, Giddy Paper 281 from FRJ Productions, so yeah. <laughs> yep, sounds about right. I sure am. Alright, so it looks like the introductions are going to be properly introduced this time around. As soon as we get Christopher Michael in the ring. Here we go. Um, because I'm not a fan of FIFA. Like, I don't really care for um, soccer. Like, if it was basketball or, like, you know, maybe 
maybe football or baseball, yeah, but soccer's not my sport, and I don't really watch uh, soccer or FIFA games, if you will. They're just like, honestly, I'm not going to lie to you, man, they're, they're kind of boring, because they take too long to, to have someone score, and nine times out of ten, it's more than likely going to end up in a 0-0 tie, you know, so it's like, kind of dumb. But I mean, you know, people like it as like the most famous sport in the world. So, you know, that's all I got to really say about that. Anyway, guys, here we go. It's time for Dynamics with Christopher Michael. Now, let's go over what um, what Victor said. <clears throat> so, uh, basically, uh, Dynamic Smith is a good fighter, just like you said, but he feels like he's too soft. Uh, Dynamic Smith is uh, too soft to be, his, you know, to kind of win the big one. Or a big one, I should say, since there is uh, five world championships. Now, <laughs> uh, I would have to, uh, yeah, I would have to kind of agree on that a little, on some degree. But you know, this is how I look at it. You know, when uh, Dynamic Smith for came, first came into WWE, he came in. You know, he 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 came out off the entrance and he was like banging his head, rocking out to his theme song, dancing around. You know, and and, and it was kind of like, okay, so. You, you can dance, but are you a better dancer in the ring? Like, and when I say dancer in the ring, I mean, are you a better fighter than you are an actual dancer with the actual moves? Or, you know, how are you going to be? And throughout his career, he's, he's had a lot of losses, but he's had a bunch of big opportunities to elevate himself to the next level. Fought for minor championships, fought for, uh, he fought for major championships, and, you know, he's just, he hasn't been able to get the job done. And again, it was probably because he was too soft. But he's been able to turn his uh, persona around, and uh, you know now he's more serious. He looks like he's done with the whole dancing thing. He means nothing but um, but business here in, in, in Sm on SmackDown Live now, which is what I like to see. And as far as him being not soft anymore, I don't know about that. That's kind of hard to determine, but. I would say he's not as soft as he was before, and I do think he could be, you know, the next, um, what do you call it? I think that he could be the next, uh, world champion, I think he could be the next United States champion, but he has to figure himself out before he starts getting for the next push. Okay, you, CJ, and X-Factor Triple Threat Match, if, if CJ wants it, that's going to be a two out of three vote, and we'll get that match done, and it'll be the next, it'll be, you know, we'll have that match on, on Monday Night Raw to start, well, I don't know, to start off the show, and it's over. There it is, guys. Christopher Michael, he, <laughs> there's no way to say it, guys, he barely even tried this match, look at it. He didn't even go through the table, though. You see, guys, that, 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 he didn't even go through the table. Like, here's what I want to do, honestly. I want to give him a rematch, a second chance, because, like, that was kind of a glitch. But I'm going to say this. I'm going to let you guys decide. Um, if you want to keep going on, just say keep going on. Or if you want to give him a second chance, because it kind of, it did kind of glitch, to be honest with you. Go ahead and type second chance, and then we'll go from there. Because, on, honestly, again... He didn't even touch the table, and he he went through it. So I don't know what the hell. That was kind of weird. Uh, does my brother have a YouTube channel? He does, but um, he doesn't up. Well, he did upload, but he doesn't really upload on a regular basis or all that. You know. Um, you know, it's, uh, yeah, so again, it's, he doesn't even, he has a channel, well, yeah, he has a channel because, you know, he, he wanted to upload a couple of videos because he went to a concert or whatever, but he never, he, he doesn't care for, you know, live stream, yeah, live streaming and doing all that, he just does it on mine because it's like, you know, we're kind of, kind of partners, if you will, yeah, I would say we're partners, uh, anyway, guys, coming up next, Camilla, the two-time are the first ever two-time SmackDown Live Women's Champion defending her title. Also the um, also the longest reigning SmackDown Live Women's Champion going up against the former three-time Raw Women's Champion and former SmackDown Live Women's Champion and 
first ever woman to hold both the Raw and SmackDown live tight or women's championship on separate occasions. Again, there's a lot of history here. Both women have accomplished a lot in, in their careers. Is going to be for the SmackDown Live Women's Championship in a ladder match. That's going to be taking place right now, as soon as possible. Uh, as soon as this match loads, uh, as a matter of fact. But um, yeah. Uh, so you say your GF Camilla is going to win, and Camilla is the GF of Victor. That is correct, the Mundo. And it's kind of interesting because they both compete on uh, separate brands. CJ King accepted the challenge, so we have two matches guaranteed. We're going to have uh, Skull Crusher, Brennan Johnson, uh, CJ King, X Factor, and Victor. And then I don't know what the rest of the card is going to be, but that'll be the first two matches for Raw since I, I know, um, you know, it's, that's, that's a match that you guys want to see, and we have you guys here. And Brennan, like, Skull Crusher went to sleep, so he w he probably have to watch it tomorrow. And Brennan Johnson, he's not even here right now. So, you know, we'll kind of, we'll put you guys match first, and then their match will go second. And then from there on out, we'll figure out what to do with the, with the card. GF is rigged. That's actually pranksters. Sorry to disappoint you, CJ. Um, <laughs> but yeah, she is take on. Here comes Camilla, everybody. Looking to retain her title in convincing fashion. The reason she doesn't have the title is because it's already hanging above the uh, ring. Here goes Camilla, she's ready to go, she's ready for action. <clears throat> Alright, here we go. Um, as you can see, the SmackDown Live Women's Championship being displayed over the screen of yours, whether it's mobile or television. It's up for grabs right now. This is match number five. Ray Green, Camilla. SmackDown Live Women's Championship on the line and the match has begun. Again, the only way you're going to win this match is if you climb that ladder, grab the championship, yank it down or retrieve it, however you want to kind of vocalize it, and you will be declared the champion. So, you know, Camilla's looking to have a, another lengthy title reign as the SmackDown Live Women's Champion. Well, Camilla, on the other hand, is looking to become a five-time women's champion. That, that would be incredible. Absolutely incredible to accomplish, especially for someone like her, who's done a lot. And Camilla going high-risk district on the top of the turnbuckle, begging for Ray Green to get back up to her feet slowly, but surely she goes. And here it is, the Hurricane off the top turnbuckle, beautifully well executed, properly well done and oh gets caught with an elbow Ray Green is going for a drop missed the drop kick and instead oh there you go that's, that's, that's a nice offensive maneuver the way the head bounced off the canvas you know that's that's kind of dangerous you can get a concussion and uh, that could take years off your career but I think she she might she looks like she's gonna be okay to compete for the rest of this match and now Ray Green going high risk district the, on the top of the turnbuckle. Looking to go aerial. Here it is. And the sw Oh! The diving body splash wasn't able to connect. Now Camilla going high risk district off the top turnbuckle. Careful. Camilla gets her where she wants her. And ooh, nice spinning elbow to the chest of Ray Green. Missed. And oh, hits the drop kick that time around. Ray Green is in complete control of this matchup so far. And uh, here we go. Here comes here comes Ray getting nailed to the canvas. Camilla setting up something. I don't know what she's setting up yet. But I think I have an idea. Here it comes. Exploder suplex. And right now, if you're Camilla, you want to get that. Oh, never mind. Hold on. Here, what she's going for here. Here it is. The belly to belly. 
that should be enough to keep her down for the rest of this match. All Camilla has to do now is get the ladder and set it up in the ring. And at least well enough to grab the championship. And you're going to walk away victorious. And as the title holder, nonetheless. All right, there you go. It's all set up and ready to go. Climbing the ladder. Red Green sees, sees something she doesn't like. So there you go. She's going to climb. And uh-oh. Camilla's in trouble now. Taking multiple blows to the abdomen. And down goes Camilla. Look at Ray. Oh, Ray's going high risk district off the top of the ladder. What's she going for here? Oh my god. Diving body splash off the top of the ladder. You don't see stuff like that. Especially for women. They are putting their own bodies on the line. They are trying to make a name for themselves. They are putting the women wrestling industry on the map. No one will ever do it better than that right there. Uh, oh my goodness. And Ray Green now climbing the ladder. She's got the championship well within hand. Camilla's down and out. I don't think I don't think she's going to be able to get back up. I don't think so. Oh, hold on. She's she's uh, she's crawling tooth and nail. She's able to do that. Now she's climbing the top of the ladder looking to get back in the matchup. Now here we go. Hitting her with multiple strikes to the abdomen this time around. And here comes, oh, wait a minute. Here comes Ray. Uh-oh. Oh, and Gus, and now she gets caught by Camilla. Camilla. Uh-oh. Down goes Ray Green, and now Camilla has the championship well within hand. I think that's it, guys. I think that's going to be over. Camilla's going to retain the championship. Camilla has the title within hand, and she's going to unhook it. There it is. She's done it. Camilla retains the SmackDown Live Women's Championship, and that right there is just a... A good match, man. Wow. Man, man, man. I just got to see it right now, guys. The only thing I can really describe about it is this. They put on a clinic. Back and forth. And we had a big high-flying moment from Ray Green off the top of the ladder. It doesn't get any better than that. It doesn't. It honestly doesn't. Congratulations, Camilla, on the hard-fought title retain. But now we got the semi-main event, and it's for the United States Championship. No holds barred. Noah Todd goes one-on-one -on -one with Nate Danger. Again, the, the, the no holds barred is the closest stipulation you're going to get to a, t a cheers match because that type of matchup right there is, um, let me see. This matchup, again, is like, it's no disqualification like the chairs match. And you can use chairs and you can use any other thing that you want as well. Again, Noah Todd and Nate Danger set for action coming up next. Um, good luck to both guys, man. Nate Danger has been the champion for quite some time. He's looking to re retain here tonight and keep on going. <clears throat> and Noah Todd, he looks um, interesting. Debuting a new look, I assume. Uh, and this is going to be, again, this is going to be interesting how this all turns about. But, uh, again, good luck to both superstars. Uh, it's going to be, uh, uh, it should be a good one. Carry stop line. Brandon Johnson has a man Virginia. He has a man Virginia? Did you know that? Huh. Brandon Johnson has a man Virginia. Like, I think he has a, a boyfriend named Virginia. I think. I'm not sure. If that's what that means. <laughs> and if you want, you can let Ray Green be. Oh my god. Alright, anyway, again, you know, this match is coming up next. Actually, it's about to be loaded up 100%. It is, and let's get started, everybody. The United States Championship up for grabs coming up next here at TLC. inside the arena rising. Unfortunately, it looks like I got cold for Christmas this year. I would much rather have worked with Tom Phillips or Brian Saxton. Oh, man, that was a genius. First off, his name is Byron, and second off, it'd take you all night to think uh, All right, right, so, yeah. All right, guys, Noah Todd is set for action right now.
He's ready to go. <laughs> no thought in action. Here, here's his opponent. I don't know. I downloaded him like you requested, and that's what I got. But yeah, uh, don't worry, I'll fix that for you, bro. Like, like, here's the thing. When you told me to download your guy, I said, okay, I'll download him. I won't debut him until, or I won't show off the new look until TLC. And, uh... I, and this is honestly, this is the first time I've ever seen him. Honest to God, not no no BS. This is I'm being 100% uh, legit. Oh, what the hell? All right. So again, no holes barred, guys. The championship's on the line. Um, I don't know why it didn't show there. And that's that's pretty interesting. Um. Anyway, here comes Nate Danger making quick work of. Oh, never mind. Here comes Noah Todd now, able to hit a backbreaker off the knee. Oh my God, that, those hurt right there. You don't want to get hit with those at any time during during any match of your career. Noah Todd setting up Nate Danger could be going aerial. Here we go and ooh, double axe handle. Damn. I thought we were gonna see something better, but instead we got that plus a leg drop to follow. Nate Danger could be in trouble very quickly. I, I don't care, honestly. <laughs> belly to belly. Oh my god. Nate Danger. He's making. Well, now he's getting back in this match, working on the arm of Noah Todd, which is a. Uh, yeah, that's, that's a pretty good way to kind of take care of business right there. And now Noah Todd, ooh, gets hit with a quick strike to the skull. Never mind, able to counter now, getting the momentum back in his favor until he got caught. Irish whip. And Noah Todd gets hit with a German. Oh, my God. Instead of landing on his back, he did a complete backflip, landing on his belly. And now the dragon sleeper locked in. Noah Todd can tap out at any moment. He has nowhere to go. Oh. Oh, uh, look at this. Kimura locked, locked in. He could tap. Never mind. Noah Todd is... Oh, what the hell? Oh. Look at this. Got wrench suplex from Nate Danger, man. And here we go. Pinfall attempt. That could be it right there. One, two. Is it enough? Only two kick out from Noah. Good God, everybody. This is a pretty good match so far. Uh, it's been back and forth. And right when I think, you know, Noah's going to put away Nate... Nate... Elbows him a couple of times, gets out of the way, and there you go. Oh, and, oh what the hell? Left hand. I, I don't think... What was in his hand, though? I think he had... I don't know what the hell that was, but he had an inanimate object. Use. Here we go. Nate Danger. He's got him up and down. He goes vertical suplex converted into the power bomb. That could be it right there. And is it going to be enough to put the match away to retain the United States Championship? Two? Only two. Alright, so, uh, um, Jones, good luck at the triple threat. FRJ, what's up, man? Oh, you have your money on Nate? Alright, yeah, and it is true that SmackDown finishes fast. Well, that's because they only have five matches. Raw has seven. And now Nate looks like he's going middle rope district. Looking to use the turnbuckle to his advantage. Waiting for Noah to get up to his feet. Slowly but surely he goes. Here he comes. A double axe handle. Again. Damn. Oh, what the hell? Noah. What's Noah going for here? Swinging neck breaker. Connects all of it. Nate's in trouble now. Well, maybe for you. But for me, I, they have... A SmackDown has five. And now, look at this. Noah Todd hits the DDT. For the win. Are we going to have a new United States champion? Is it enough? Only two. Kick out from Nate. Noah Todd is in disbelief. He cannot comprehend what just happened. You know, he thought he had the match won. Nate Danger now. He's, uh... He is coming back with that arm drag. Now what does Nate got in mind? He's got to come up with something quick, otherwise this is going to turn to the other direction like that with the back body drop. 
Now what Todd, what he's got in mind now, oh, working the arms of Nate. Instead, Nate's able to, oh, hit him with the forearm and get out of there. And now what is Nate going for? Oh, gets hit with an elbow. And uh-oh, he's got him up. Nate's up. And oh, a counter. Nate Danger able to counter again, everybody. And Nate Danger setting him up. He's calling for it. If he hits this, the match could come to an end. Here it goes. He's got him. Up and down. Vertical suplex power bomb. That should do it right there, everybody, to retain the United States Championship at TLC. One, two, three. It's over. Nate Danger retains the United States Championship. Good God. And just like that, guys, Nate Danger, it wasn't a quick match. It wasn't a, f it wasn't a long match. It was an average match. Both men did the best that they could to walk out victorious, but Noah Todd just fell. He just fell short at the end of the day. So there is to it. And right there, guys, it took a second vertical suplex power bomb, but that was that. And right there, guys, that was it. <laughs> Congratulations, Nate Danger, on the hard fought, successful victory. And congratulations on the title defense. But, uh, alright, guys, coming up next, we have the main event. And it is for the WWE Championship. And it's going to be contested in a tables, ladders, and chairs match. So, the only way to win is you got to climb the ladder. You got to retrieve the championship and you can win like that. This is, I understand it's a tables match, a chairs match, and a ladder match. Put it all in one. But you can't win by pinfall using a chair. You can't win by putting them through a table, like a table match. This is this is mainly a ladder match, but you're allowed to use tables and chairs, which is kind of dumb if you think about it in that, <laughs> in that kind of way now. But <laughs> nonetheless, it is a tables, ladders, chairs match. You can use tables, ladders, and chairs, all three, you know, stipulations. But... At the end of the day, you still got to climb the ladder and retrieve the championship to be declared the WWE champion. Good luck to Tyler. Good luck to Brutus. It's going to be a really good match, and I can't wait to see it. It's our main event for TLC before we end up streaming Monday Night Raw. That's going to be a good Raw. Ooh, excuse me. We know what the first two matches are going to be. And I, I think it's going to be a good episode. I really do. I, 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 in my opinion, I think it's going to be a good Raw. But until then, we got this blockbuster main event to take place. Excuse me. This is the last pay-per-view of the universe um, of the universe year that we had. And, and we had a good year, guys. Honest, honest to God, we had a good year. Uh, you know, we started off the year with uh, Alex winning the... Uh, you know, we we started with not Alex, but Skull Crusher winning the Royal Rumble main event in WrestleMania. Brutus, you know, he f won the WWE Championship at WrestleMania. Um, you know, we had Brandon Johnson and Hades get fired on two separate occasions. Um, you know, it was just it was it was good, man. It was really good, really good year. FRJ almost won every title. He might do that for the new year coming up. That's going to be taking place as soon as this stream's over, actually. There you guys go, guys. There's Tyler Hilton. He's ready for this matchup. I guess that's what all the fuss was about. Alright, but that's enough now. He had his big entrance moment. 
And now here, we, here comes his opponent. Absolutely. Here comes Brutus, everybody. He is looking to make his name solidified, and he's looking to end the year, a great year for him nonetheless, where, let's see, where he won the WWE Championship uh, twice, looking to keep the title to end the year off properly. All right, what's your question, man? Put who up in creations? Oh, but yeah, uh, let me see. Go ahead and ask your question. Um, let me see. Victor says, "Okay, I read that. That's gonna be yeah. The, that's gonna be a good triple threat match." Uh, oh, Brutus and uh, creations. All right. Uh, what What do you think in your head when I became first created WWE champ in 2K16? Well. Hmm. I was surprised, honestly, because I thought, you know, looking at NXT success, you know, I thought my money was kind of on uh, boss mode, it was on Chris Stevens, um, you know, my money was on those guys, and then, honestly, you weren't even, never really a singles competitor, you were always in a tag team like you and James Bunny. But when you became the first uh, creative superstar to win a world championship on 2K16, so I was like, okay, well, I didn't, ex I honestly didn't expect it to happen. Um, you weren't the last guy I thought was going to win it, but I didn't think you were, you were going to be the first guy to do it, and so that was a big shocker in its own right. And um, from that point on, it was kind of like, okay, so you know, it's you can't take anyone out of occasion because you never know who's going to be a world champion and right here tonight Tyler Hilton that guy right there you know I'm looking I, I never thought he would be in a WWE championship match especially in the main event and he's got an opportunity here tonight at TLC against Brutus uh, so I, it, you know that's all I got to say about that but as far as you becoming the first champion, uh, the first created wrestler to become a champion, that was, uh, again, it was a little surprising because I didn't think you were going to do it. I thought it was going to be boss mode. I thought it was going to be, uh, I thought it was going to be Chris Stevens. But when you did it, it was like, whoa. Okay. So not only is there a bunch of big surprises in WWE that you never thought could ever happen, but I guess it also happens in the games too. So that's, that's pretty dope. Here comes, um... A big match coming on right now. <sighs> okay, so they're having a big... <laughs> Excuse me, they're having a big wrestling match in the comments section. And I'm watching this right now, which is... Uh, okay, we're going to go talk about this, guys. Uh, big match between Brutus and Tyler Hilton. Tyler Hilton only held the SmackDown Live Tag Team Championships in his career as Brutus. Let's see, he held the Intercontinental Championship three times, but uh, the title's not on SmackDown no more. But, you know, he ended up... He ended up winning the WWE Championship five times and the SmackDown Live Tag Team Championships. Uh, he hasn't held the United States title yet or the SmackDown Championship, but you never know, man. You can end up winning those titles in the near future. He's got plenty of time to do it, he's, he, but he's looking to go into the new year with uh, the WWE Championship. Ooh. Look at this. Fisherman suplex. Tyler Hilton now. Looking to put Brutus down and out so he can... Oh! Missed the super kick. And look at this. Got wrench suplex. Almost got him on the ladder. I think that's what he was aiming for, but he miscalculated a little bit. And instead, he just he just got a, a guard wrench suplex. Oh, here comes Tyler now. Look at that, guys. What's Tyler got? What does Tyler got in mind? This is the best part. Oh, never mind. I thought it was going to be the best part of the match where he was going to be get the best chance to win it. Here comes Brutus now. He looks pissed off. Oh, he got caught. Here comes Tyler now. Got caught. His Oh, <laughs> nice counter. 
Brutus is on that ladder. He's in a tough predicament now. And oh my god! He just used that ladder as a weapon. And look at this. Oh, good god, he missed the ladder. Thank the Lord Jesus. But right when he saw right there, guys, he he lifted up Brutus's head and he kneed his the back of his skull, which forced the facial features of Brutus to bounce out the ladder and I'm surprised he's not busted open after that. It's danger, by the way. Oh, what the hell? Brain buster off the knee and that could be it right there. Tyler Hilton now climbing the ladder. T Shut up. Tyler Hilton has the WWE Championship well within hand. Tyler Hilton... He's got the biggest opportunity of a lifetime. All he has to do is get the title down. And he's going to become WWE Champion for the first time in his career. He's got it. But Brutus, he's, he sees what's going on. He's climbing the ladder. He's looking to make sure that doesn't happen. Oh, quick strikes to the abdomen of Tyler. And oh, God. Now Brutus, he just knocked his lights out. Brutus has the WWE Championship in hand. He's got the opportunity to walk away champion. He's got the, he's got it, he's got it, he's done it. And Brutus is leaving the year and he's entering the new year as the WWE Champion. Wow, guys. That right there was just insane. That's all there is to describe it. It honestly is. Wow. Congratulations, Brutus, on retaining the WWE Championship. You're leaving the year as the title holder, and you're entering the new as the champion. Thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully you all enjoyed. We're going to have Monday Night Raw to start up momentarily. To start off the show, we're going to have Victor, X-Factor, and CJ King to start, it off, start the night off. The second match is going to be between Brandon Johnson and Skull Crusher, where the winner of that match will be entered into the Elimination Chamber match for the Best in the World Championship. Stay tuned for that, guys. Again, thanks for watching. Hopefully you all enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next one. But until the next one, you all have a good one. But for now, cut, and that's a wrap.